All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another SLG Meetup. Not sure if it's evening, morning or afternoon, but we're here, we keep going. And today we're going to have with us a very special guest. If you're wondering what it takes to sell some of the most incredible homes in some of the most competitive markets, such as Los Angeles and also in Scottsdale, Arizona, you are in the right place. We're going to have with us Erica Schaefer. She's the former cast member of the famous Bravos TV show, Multi-Million Dollar Listing. And she's going to bring us great insights on what it takes to sell some of the most extraordinary homes, as well as building your personal brand. Uh, good to see you. How's everything in Arizona? Good to see you. Everything's amazing. It is a hot one and it's only 9 a.m. So... Right, it's quite early right there. I'm in the evening right here. It's actually 10 p.m. already. <laughs> so we are almost <laughs> in the other side. But you just came back we from are. a beautiful trip in Hawaii, right? I did. I did. Yeah, we had a great time. We did some excursions. We hung out by the beach. We had a great time. Listen, who could tell us that we cannot travel the world and still be doing a nice life and keep the business up and running, correct? Yeah, that's kind of the cool thing about real estate, right? You make your own schedule. Um, you can work from anywhere around the world, as you know. Exactly. Well, thank you very much for joining us. I think it's a very interesting conversation ahead. Now, I was making a quick intro about yourself. You're a very successful luxury real estate agent. You started quite at an early age as an assistant for one of the most dominant agents in the market and you also were part of the multi-million dollar listing tv show in bravo so tell us right. a little bit about how your journey has been in real estate it's been pretty wild so i initially got into real estate um, i worked for an older woman who was like the queen of real estate in beverly hills she had been doing it for 40 years and i learned a lot from her but i kind of wanted a more um, like useful vibe. So I was on LinkedIn one day and I saw that Tracy was looking for an assistant, Tracy Tudor on the show. And mm -hmm. she was with um, Douglas Elliman at the time, which is who I'm with. And I reached out to Matt Altman, who's also on the show. And I was like, you know, what's the deal with Tracy? Like, do you think it would be a good fit? Like, what do you think about her? And he said, I think you guys would be amazing together. You know, she's hip, she's cool. She does luxury real estate. Um, right. she's vibrant, like she, she'd be a great mentor. So I switched companies. I went over there and I assisted for her for about two years, I'd say. And I just learned from the best. And that's advice that I always give to new agents is a lot of new agents just want to go out and are really hungry and that's amazing. But you need that foundation of a really good mentor. Mm -hmm. What was your turning point when you were, boom, your career completely changed? I was it the show? I, it was, it was partly the show, but it was also gaining that confidence. I really started being more confident and just going after things and not taking no for an answer and approaching clients that I was like, oh, this is like kind of out of my wheelhouse. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, you know? And then it paid off. And that's, that's what happens. You start getting more and more sales and people start hearing your name more. And that's how you build your business. You were talking about your turning point when you were actually the assistant of Tracy, which got landed this opportunity at the TV show Million Dollar Listing. And then you also became part of the show, right? Right, right. So that was a really exciting experience because I just thought, you know, Tracy's going to be on the show and I'm going to kind of man the office a little bit while she's filming. And then she was so gracious and, you know, kind of allowed me to be on the show with her in, in this, you know, certain aspects of it. Um, and it definitely helped in terms of building my brand. Um, but it was very difficult to kind of get out of that. Oh, you're Tracy Tudor's assistant. I get so many referrals and those referrals come from agents all over the U S all over the world. I refer business to agents, you know, like you and other, other agents nationally. And it's such a cool mm -hmm. way of kind of working without working. A lot of the places that I visit are people's second and third homes and why not buy in Arizona? Why not buy in LA? Why not pitch them a house? Like, you know, during that time that you're meeting with them and help them to understand why they should purchase in LA or why they should purchase in Arizona. Um, it's a great way to network and to, to build that relationship with people. Totally. I, I agree with you. And it's funny because 
you know, at the end of the day, yeah, the world might seem too big, but there is always those particular destinations where La Creme de la Creme meets or, you know, there is the jet set location, let's call them, right? And, and when you are there, when you are there and you are part of that same lifestyle, you end up building connections and a relationship that go way deeper than being the local guy at the, you know, the place where you so are. It's so true. It's so true. And I really think that like the future is referral based business, which is mm -hmm. like, if you have a client in Miami, well, you can't tell them, oh, I'm going to fly with you to LA and get, get a house with you, but I have a great agent out there. Totally. And then you get your, mm -hmm. you get your cut of it, but you're also involved in the deal, but not as involved and you're making money while you sleep. You know, it's a no brainer. <laughs> so let me ask you this, Erica, because obviously you are a very sweet person, very knowledgeable, and also you inspire some people to trust you because that's not easy. You know, a lot of people don't have that personality. How do you work towards building your personality to really be so likable and trusted? So, well, thank you. Um, so I grew up in a household. I mean, everyone in my family is like super outgoing. I could talk to like the wall and, you know, have a great time. <laughs> I, I, I could really get along with anybody. And that's I think good. that's a skill that to be one of the top agents and the best agents, you have to have that. And you have to be able to connect with everybody from every walk of life, from every country. And I just do that because I love people. Like I just, I can find something, some kind of common ground and relate to them. And my clients are all really different. You know, I have some clients who are like, this is business. You don't need to know anything about my personal life. Like this is what it is. And I'm like, okay, cool. And then there's other you know, clients that I'm at their baby showers and their birthday parties. Exactly. It just depends on like how closely those mm -hmm. people want you to be. Mm -hmm. That's true. All right. Awesome, Erica. Now, let me ask you this, because obviously you've traveled a lot. You've also been surrounded by some of the most incredible homes as well as luxury brands. Mm -hmm. So I always like to ask this question. What really is luxury to you? Luxury to me is really like a house being set apart, right? Does the house have like an indoor pool or some kind of cool feature or a big wine cellar or a movie theater or something that's not your cookie cutter house of like four bedrooms, three baths and a kitchen, yeah. you know? It's like something exactly. that really exudes like, oh, that upper echelon of, of quality. Mm -hmm. You guys are so pretty awesome. So it could be awesome. a $3 million house, but it has exactly. like a great movie theater or this crazy gym with this sick view and that's luxury right now when you connect and you are great at that when you connect the right mm -hmm. brands and the right individuals you know like influencers luxury brands towards a nice property and you build an experience that will make any potential buyer have a great first impression or remember you know the story it it's changes all everything. about an experience so a lot of times like how we'll set ourselves apart for showings is like, we'll find out what their favorite drink is or their favorite food is. And we'll bring sushi to the house or we'll have a bottle of champagne there that's waiting for them. That's their favorite champagne. Like we kind of do a little bit of digging and research with that agent. We'll have their favorite band or music playing because that's how mm -hmm. they're going to entertain. You know, it's like exactly. they have to feel the house and you can't just walk into a house that's someone else's decor and expect people to connect to it like you have to really set the mood and set the tone and that's how luxury sells houses uh -huh. i need to go to one of your open houses to see how erica does it. <laughs> yeah exactly we'll do it up now erica when it comes to a more personal question you are so <laughs> upbeat so positive and you're always like let's do it doesn't matter what do you do? I mean, besides having a great mentor, is there any specific routine that you do that keeps you so uplifted? Well, yeah. Like, so in the mornings I get up between, I don't know, 6.30 and 7. I'll take my dog for a walk. I put on some good music, whether it's like Christian music or inspirational music and kind of get my head in the right frame of mind. I stay mm -hmm. off my phone during the walk. I'll just kind of be focused, mostly like yelling at her, like behave, but also listening <laughs> to music. Kind of what kind of dog is it? <laughs> she's um, like a, a dachshund beagle mix okay, and she's a cool. handful. So on our morning walks, as much as I'm trying to focus, I'm also focusing on her, but I stay off my phone. So I won't be texting, emailing at all during that time. <laughs> I get back to the house, I'll have a coffee. And then I sit down for two hours and just go in on emails and texts and all that kind of stuff because the morning for me is my most 
focus time. Like I, I have very little mm-hmm. distraction in the morning and then I'll try and fit in some kind of workout three times a week, which is very helpful. Um, I think people kind of don't take into consideration that your mental and physical health is so just true. as important, you know, when you're dealing with, with big deals and a lot of personalities, um, you know, some clients are more difficult than others. Some agents are more <laughs> difficult than others. So you have to just true. be centered and not let them kind of derail you. Mm-hmm. So true. All right, great. Now, are there any specific takeaways that you would like to share with the audience? And by audience, I mean anybody that is currently trying to raise their business or getting into any new industry such as real estate or anything in luxury. I mean, honestly, I think just grinding, like this is not a nine to five or a, you know, on vacation, do what you please. I mean, on vacation, I am still working like crazy. It's like people see the million dollar listing or they see, you know, top (laughs) agents posting these gorgeous houses and they're like, Oh, $10 million. I can do that. I mean, there's a lot that goes into a deal and a transaction. So learn, learn, like really sink your teeth into it. Do open houses ask any agent to help. I mean, that's like, whenever somebody reaches out to me and is like, I'll do anything. I mean, that's someone who's hungry. You know, my first job, she wasn't hiring. And I had an interview with her, this lady named Joyce Ray. And she was like, I mean, on Sundays, you could come in the office. I was like, done. And and she was like, and I can't really, you know, like, I don't know how much I can pay. I was like, don't even pay me. I don't care. It was just more so like getting in with those people. There you go. That's mm-hmm. what it's about. That's amazing. Just hustle. It's all about, the, the, <laughs> yeah, exactly the hustle. And you know, it's funny because sometimes, especially in real estate, everything looks so glamorous. You know, especially when it comes to luxury real estate, the amazing home, the amazing <laughs> success. But there is also a lot of work behind, right? Oh my gosh, I sold a house. I don't know a couple months ago, and we did a final walkthrough, and the house was fine. And then I come back, and they had like taken everything out of the house and it was a disaster and they left crap on the sidewalk. So I'm literally at seven in the morning with like arms full of junk and trash and hauling it out to the garbage and sticking it in my car. And I'm like, have a hammer and I'm like getting nails <laughs> out of the wall. And I was just like, this is what people really should see because that's I, 90% I, I of it. That. Yes. <laughs> and Why then the have 10% is that? the payoff. <laughs> should be putting more of the behind the scenes work because I mean, obviously, everybody likes to put the end result, but there is a lot of work behind. Even here, you know, we're currently having this conversation. I mean, it's in the morning over there. Over here is 10.30 right. at night. Yeah. I mean, the Maldives, I could be like, look, goodbye. Yeah, you know, I'm but done. I, I think that, out for today. <laughs> yeah, but the same with you. You were in Hawaii, still connected, doing business. Mm-hmm. So I believe that nowadays we have the beautiful opportunity of being connected via internet with it's our amazing. devices. And it's look, incredible. you can still be working on your deals. And you said it right there. It's all about the connections. When you have the right people in the right places, you can operate at any level. You know, Absolutely. it's all about I'm a firm trust. believer in that. It's like work smarter, not harder, you know? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And you need to put also the hours, you know, like for me right now, it's when I start working. Why? Because yep. it's Eastern Standard Time when people are starting to operate. So right. I'll and when you went there, you working. knew that that was the drill. You knew that it was going to be a big time exactly. difference and that that's what you were going to have to be doing. And everyone that you're with knows that. And, you know, my poor yeah. boyfriend, sometimes I'm like, I can't make that. I'm so sorry. I have to do this or I have to do that. Right. Or, you know, and he's the same way. Like when you're, when you're a driven person, you're, someone always wants a piece of you. I, th- I think it's all about not separating your personal and professional and finding the way to really connect it and have fun, you know, while you're doing it's it. So true. So true. But anyways, you, you are definitely an inspiration for many. Oh, I was reading you. some of the some of the comments that we're sharing in here, and everybody's very inspired by what you've done, what you've accomplished, very nice. and also the way that you carry yourself. So keep up that smile, Thank keep you. up the great work. I look forward to seeing you in whether Scott's. Well, I'm gonna be in Los Miami Angeles. middle of May, so I will see you in Miami. That's funny because I might be in LA, so we might cross paths. Or <laughs> we'll course. see each other at some point. Yeah, of course. At some no, it's point we'll cross fun. paths. Thank For you sure. so no, much. Erica, I really enjoyed anything this. Anything else? Anything else that you would like to share before we wrap this up? No, I think we're good. There we go. Well, I appreciate enjoy. You. Yeah, thank you so much. Please, everybody that is tuning in to this conversation, follow Erica. She's amazing. If you have any questions or have any request in regards to real estate in Scottsdale, Arizona, or Los Angeles, reach out to her. She's amazing. Also, if you are just looking for some inspiration, follow her because she's great. 
So, Erica, Thank thanks you again so for your time. Have a wonderful trip. I look forward trip. to seeing you soon. Yeah, of course. Bye, guys. <laughs>